My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop. And that noise you can hear, that's the heater, it's freezing in here. Um, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's that. So this is number whatever it is for the Hossack. I think I had this written down what number it was. I think it's number eight. But um, it doesn't matter. We'll just get on with what's what. So, uh, what have I been doing? Oh yes, yeah, so there's this, this, this is the steel plate. I call it the steel plate, just so it's in line with um, what people know from wankles and stuff. I'll get more into that. that this is a separate entity, almost. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll briefly talk about it. What The whole point of this extra additional plate um, so you have a stack of this and another bit and then this and another bit and this and another bit um, Number one is that the steel plates um, have uh, a Type of rigidity so the whole point of the housings is that they are cast or extruded they'd have to be cast um, but They have they're basically the thermal control to a degree um, or the they're the thermal element, basically, with the heat from combustion and cooling, they'll get to manage that. And because it's just a slab, it's easier to model that. Um, with this, we can exchange this. So we could exchange this from a titanium plate or a steel plate or even an aluminium plate. It basically gives me the option, because it's a very, very simple profile, right? It is identical both sides it is literally a two-dimensional shape that's extruded out which in reality would be a plate that is cut and then basically skimmed either side and then that's it that's why i want to keep it that way this gives me um and this is what this is not what what how do i say this because this is a completely different engine design because this operates in a different way um because they will be different issues and because this is stackable it's a module system that you just stack one on top of the other i need a way to be able to quickly change um the stiffness of the entire assembly because it's a module system i also need a way to be able to change the thermal characteristics now i can't completely change them but i would be able to have one of these made out of aluminium one of these made from steel and one of these made from titanium just say the steel giving us meh uh you know in, in intermittent in, not intermittent in between the poorly conducting thermally conducting titanium and the brilliantly conducting aluminium if we needed even further you could say just make it out of copper it just means that i can keep all of the engine components exactly the same and just swap this so that's one of the reasons for this now the whole point of this is that this is going to be built right i am literally making moves and plans to have this built not just this part the entire engine um and what i mean by built is i'm going to i'm going to build it uh we're going to go through some casting blah blah blah, blah, blah all this kind of shite but you want to this is a test bed engine this is a real test bed engine it is just designed in a sense so we can swap fucking stuff around so let's get to the housing so this is where the housing is people are going to say what's this port what's this about what's this about why are the different shapes why they're like that why are these funky why is everything the way it is we'll get to that right it, that there's a bit of um longevity to this so for the time being um, it is like the plate on the back, but then has a cavity on the inside. And um, again, this has been built like this, so there's nothing here and there's something here. And same thing here is because I might actually want to slice this back end out, right? Slice this complete thing out. Um, I haven't made my mind up yet, hence why the spark plug hole is also to one side, that kind of thing. This isn't. And this is why I'm 50-50 um, about this still, right? So there's a lot of things to consider, yada, yada, yada. But I'm even thinking about changing this completely. But, you know, it's... Um, I know people want me to go through absolutely every single thing. 
I am trying and will try to go through absolutely every single thing, but I don't want to go through every single iteration. I will go through the major iterations and why I changed them. Any road. So, one thing that we do have is if we cut this like this, you can see that we have a big chunk of aluminium. So let's just split it basically down the middle there. Right, we'll just split it there. You can see that we have a really nice sharp radius, uh, not radius, a really sharp edge there, which isn't going to ever exist. Right, we'll get to that. Um, it isn't going to be this right angle. Um, but you can see we've got this big, this is massive, massive thing. Now, we do have two options once I start doing thermal studies and stuff. You could leave this here as a, as a heat sink. Um, but, just for the shits and gigs, I've got two iterations of this. Uh, once I do that kind of testing, which is what I will do. Let's go back to that, actually. Um, no, actually, it's not. What I am, what I have been doing is this. So, basically, cut into this, just to obviously line it up, stuff like that. Uh, we do have to be careful, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, at the top here, so this top half, this is cut like this just for um, testing. Um, oh, that's just for the model. This isn't going to be separate like this. This is just for the model so I can calculate things easier. Um, but the coolant will flood into the back here. So just this back section, you can see that on this side... Um, if this was injection moulded kind of thing, you could easily have these. There's no draft to them because I'm going to investment wax cast this. But um, you could have draft to this and all this kind of rubbish, which we'll go through again. Um, and then there's just basically this line up. But weirdly enough, you'll have a plate that goes against this surface. So these areas here, which I haven't done yet, these areas, these voids. So we've got quite a few. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six... And then we've got the other five around there. Um, these need bleed holes. And they will need basically just a hole cutting across there. There's just a little hole going across there. Join them all together to this bolt hole here. And then into these. And again, radially out from here. And the reason why is because these will expand and contract, expand and contract, and expand and contract. And they will do this in a different, you know, there'll be a differential to this. So I don't like to put that kind of stress on these things. So we don't want that to happen. So you just have a vent, right? Vent to a bolt hole. And then that will, you, you could easily just put a hole in the side. little tiny little hole in the side there. Or a big hole to be quite honest. You could put a fucking 3 mil hole in there or a 4 mil hole in there or something. Or you could even, there are even screws and stuff where you have, for vacuum systems, where they have holes all the way through them. Uh, bolts and screws and stuff um, again we don't want this to you know fucking start to expand and contract and put stress on things that we don't want especially seeing as though we have all of these bolt holes and nothing in the middle now obviously we have this big cavity where there's a big boom going on and this is going to thermally start to warp out and stuff hence why we have the cooling around the back and again this is what I've been saying at the front there is a plate and whatever material that will be well, that will be Around the sides and the top here we have obviously the cooling and we have the passages for intake and exhaust which do their own kind of heating and cooling themselves regardless. Um, I do need to come out with some kind of, uh, which is what this big hole here is for. This big hole here, at the moment I have plans for exhaust port cooling around the exhaust port because that's going to be there's an asymmetry it's gonna be hotter on one side than it is on the other but just to show you because you know people might well also want to know these holes at the top so this one and this one these cavities should i say this one and this one there for cooling the rest of them are just for lightness what difference does it make if we roll all that back and get rid of that go to our mass properties we've got 1.85 so 1.85 kilos and if we then remove all of this stuff just like that, uh, oh, what am I doing? Mass properties, 1.6. So we've lost 850 grams. Now, it might not seem like a lot, but if you've lost 850 grams 
and you put these, you know, all four of them in a line kind of thing, then all of a sudden, you know, 3.2 kilos or thereabouts, three kilos, that's a lot. You know what I mean? That's an awful lot is three kilos. It's not just a piss in the wind. And it, it especially is a lot when this whole thing weighs 1.6 kilos. You know what I mean? That is the, the weight of two housings. You know what I mean? So all of a sudden, it's a, it, it becomes a lot of weight. You know what I mean? So it does... You might think, oh, you know, you've only taken... You've gone from 1.8 kilos to 1.6. You know, that's only 200. Oh, what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> I, was gonna, I was thinking in my head that's wrong. Yes, yeah, so it's 200, not 800. It's 200 grams. Fucking hell, 250 grams. So you're losing a kilo. So fucking, I was thinking three kilos. I'm going mental. Lot on. Um, <laughs> just can't do maths, basically. That's what it is. Uh, yes, so two, 250 grams. Fuck's sake. 266 grams, more precisely. But uh, 250 grams, four of them, that would be a kilo. Sin as though housing weighs 1.6 kilos, that's nearly an additional housing. So that's just taking this shit out, you know, will change it a lot. But we are going to also look at um, the stress uh, of attack. The, the, the stress shouldn't really be a problem because you've got a plate on both sides that is just a continuous plate that is really quite stiff because its cross-section is the same from top to bottom. Um, and like I say, all these bolt holes and stuff. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, save all of that, please. Um, so just to show you sticking it all together, uh, just to catch people up, I have done a water passage housing that I don't like at all, and I've changed my idea since then. Um, so what we can do is we can just make these make these together make them concentric that's beautiful and what I usually do is I'll just make something else concentric like that and that stops it rotating around like a retard so this goes on here like that and we're all good so we're all matched up together now another way to just say just say if this tube here just say we're doing a tube from one end to the other right all four cylinders kind of thing you could have the plates like this and then have this casting like this but that's an awful lot of weight what you can do is you can cut out this entire section so cut this out so this around this circle and do them all even the steel plates and just have one steel plate here and the other steel plate at the other end and have just a tube a tube that you know gets sandwiched between both ends and then you put a bit of gob you know a bit of goo or an o-ring with a flange on it or something and that will reduce your shitloads of weight the steel pipe the steel bit of tube pipe is not but it would be a pipe officially it would be a pipe because it's carrying fluids um the uh pipe would go from one end to the other just said to carry coolant from one engine at the end end of the engine or back you see it's actually at the turn at the moment it's a return um so it goes through the head gets pumped back around and goes back to this end and goes through it back round, through it back round, through it back round like that you just or you could just put a rubber hose in you know what I mean? Fuck this off completely and just have these as rings just to hold it and you just feed it through and whatever. There are ways that when you start out, you go, oh, I want to do this. And then you go, oh, actually, no, I want to now change that and make it, you know, get rid of this big ring and make it just even lighter. And we're going to go through those things as we go. So this would be your engine as uh, I'm going to just do this as one cylinder just so it's a lot easier to see because it does kind of get confusing. Uh, we'll get the end plate so this would be the end plate I'm going to have a start plate and an end plate, you can see that this plate is different, has a smaller hole in it, all that kind of good stuff um, let's just link these together like that junk, move it out of the way tell that and that to do the business and then that and that like that so you can see that with this all being steel and stuff and you can see I've got these additional bolt holes sticking out like this this is going to be for the water pump housing um, if we get rid of that for a second is that that one yeah delete that just so I can move it out like this you can see on this side we have an o-ring seal and just a passage just this like an empty cavity 
that is to line up with all these cavities here not these two in the middle but these here i might even actually include them actually thinking about it um i might include them it might actually make it a broader surface to have an o-ring so that's it all buttoned up and closed up and you can see so when i was talking about not having this center section that would be like this center section here that would be like this system where you just put a recess in there a, a, you know a recess in there put a, have a pipe squash between the two it's a lot lighter weight you know what i mean uh no fuck off i don't want to save and bearings you know this is a bottom stop for a bearing and stuff like that and blah blah blah, blah and away you go and uh, have it pressed into this casing but this is kind of what i'm working on at the moment um i know everyone's gagging <laughs> everyone is gagging to know what all of these ports are doing and what the um where is it oh, i don't even know where the main assembly is where is it new build slim it's not in there the crank let's put the crank in again the crank has been built as a model to um just for testing sake and i can't even tell what's what at the moment go oh, it that's not helping is it what the hell i thought like oh it's a different assembly there we go so we do that so our crank which is missing parts, as you can see, and bearings and stuff like that. Um, I have that line up with that. I think it's that one. That face. Like so. Did I put a hollow crank pin in it? Oh, I, I great. So one of the things that I want to do with this, right, one of the real things that I want to do with this is I want to make this system or I'm thinking about making this system so we can have forged crank sections and not um, not fuck around with um, what's it called now not mess around with um, that stupid thing what's that stupid thing called what is that stupid thing called I can't remember there's a stupid thing Oh yes, uh, unit construction cranks. Fuck it, I'll get on with it, you twat. Um, so, where are oh, fucking corsets the other bloody way? Why wouldn't it be? So yeah, I'm still working on the best profile for the wall, but that's not too bad. The clearance in there. So these these gaps, you might look at that gap and go, fucking hell, these gaps are tiny. Right, so if I just, oh for God's sake, if I just pick, where's the bloody tape measure? Evaluate, there we go. If I just pick a point there and just go to there, right, we're a millimetre away, right, and then we've got to take into consideration thermal expansion, all that kind of nonsense, right, and a millimetre is fucking nothing, right, it's literally nothing, and I haven't fine-tuned this to put this in a you know to put this in one perspective um so i'm gonna fuck around with the casings a bit and mess around with stuff and you know fuck around with weights and measurements and yada 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 and um the next thing i want to look at is the actual combustion um like look at the combustion and basically what is it doing and trying to optimize that and the thing is this is the thing i'm just trying to optimize this in my mind's eye right i'm just trying to think what would you know what would work best but not only that is one of the things that i do want to get into soon is showing you like with the steel plate right like, like with this steel cover cover plate that goes on the front how can i optimize that to a certain degree to make it um Oh, to give me some kind of flexibility with... Oh, this doesn't work great. I can swap that out with another bit. 
So one of the, th the great things about these pistons, you see, is that it's just one part. So what I'm saying is, let's just say we run this, right? Let's say we run this engine, and this profile for the combustion chamber here, uh, for the piston, is different than the combustion chamber. The combustion chamber I kind of want to leave like this, um, but for the 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 P rod, <laughs> as it's known, the piston rod, the P rod. I want to make it so I can change this shape, you know, because, let me just, let's just say we've got what we have now, right, so we have, I'm sure I have, oh, bloody hell, I'm sure I have a picture, no, not that either, for God's sake, don't I have a picture of this? Um, I do have a picture of this. I fucking hate when you have to keep on changing things. What's that one? Oh yeah, that's not that. Is that it? No, that's definitely not it. That's mapping out stuff. Right, so let's just go... Um, Let's just go like this, right? So we have a combustion chamber that is pretty much just say like that, right? Uh, so we've got this con this combustion chamber that's like this, right? And then I come in and say, oh, you know, um, I want a, a, a piston. And at the moment, oh fuck's sake, at the moment, we've got a piston that looks very different to that. Like that. So if I screenshot that, open another thing. I know this is, this is not very fucking, this is not a presentation, is it? So we get this, right, and we do some testing. We've run the engine. And it just seems to be doing something fucking horrible. Just say so that fits that, right? Um, we can, or there is a possibility, to, it'll be making it asymmetric, but do a piston this shit. You know, almost like a bathtub combustion chamber. In other words, what I'm saying is, is that the piston is a lot... That's the, that's the easiest way to see it. The piston, the P-Rod, is a lot easier to manufacture than an entire casing, right? So we can change the piston quite easily compared to doing any chamber redesign. So it means that we can um, fuck around. You know, we, we come up like this. I know it's not, it's not, it's not constrained or anything. We come up like this, and that's you know that's our boom. Where really we want more of a shape that's like this, but that's TDC. You know what I mean? And we can just mess around with it and do stuff like that and change these things and, ooh, let's see if this works and just fuck around with ideas. You know what I mean? Fuck around with ideas and do stuff like that. Any road, I hope that's... I haven't been too busy on this. I've, I've, as some of you know, I've been a lot busier on other things. Um, but I'm still cooking away. Things are still being done. Um, and there's a lot of other ideas and how to modulate this properly and so on that I've been doing in a, a notebook kind of thing. Any road, hope that makes sense and I will see you in a bit.